Terrence Crawford versus Sebastian Fondora is happening next since the WBO already ordered for this fight next but who's actually gonna win this fight well let's take a look at their latest performances in which Terrence Crawford fought David Avancin in which this was a very close fight both had some great shots until Terrence Crawford started letting his hands go a little bit more and he knocked out David Avancin in round six at this, we all know Terrence Crawford then went on to fight Errol Spence Jr. to become undisputed, in which Terrence Crawford dropped Errol Spence Jr. in round two. Back comes Crawford with the jab. Down goes Spence! And then Errol Spence Jr. got dropped twice in round seven. And here comes Spence, though, as Crawford with the seventh. A big shot! And then Terrence Crawford stopped Errol Spence Jr. in round nine. Spence hurt again. All right, hook that wobbles him. Spence might be going down again. And this one is over! Now let's take a look at Sebastian Fondora's latest performances in which he fought Brian Mendoza in which both went back and forth. Both started off very fast until Sebastian got knocked out in round seven. He let go of his hands. Now he's trying to lock oh, this at this, we all know just recently Sebastian Fondura went on to fight Tim Zhu, in which Tim Zhu started out very fast, landed some great shots until he got a cut on the top of his head, in which he couldn't see due to the blood from the cut, in which Sebastian outlanded Tim completely, won almost every single round, and Tim Zhu ended up losing it by decision. Now, I don't understand how anyone besides Sebastian and his team can think that this will be a very close fight because it won't be a close fight, but I do understand why people will believe that it could be close, and that is because Terrence Crawford is going up in weight, but I don't think that's going to matter in this case because Terrence Crawford has the skill set and has the ring IQ to work around the fact that he's going to go up in weight to fight bigger and stronger guys who have fought at that weight for the majority of their career. So when seeing how the fight can go, it's pretty easy to imagine when looking at their latest performances. For example, if we look at Sebastian Fondora when he fought Tim Zhu, although Tim Zhu was blinded due to all the blood that was pouring down his face, Sebastian Fondora still struggled to significantly outperform Tim Zhu or get him out of there. So the only way he won by split decision is because he was throwing more and he was controlling the fight with his jab and he was working around with whatever Tim Zhu had to offer on top of the fact that he was keeping his range. So in the end, I can see Terrence Crawford using his footwork, power, speed, and accuracy to outperform Sebastian Fondora. And if Brian Mendoza was able to knock out Sebastian Fondora, then I do believe that Terrence Crawford will have no problem doing so.